Hi, this is HP and today I'm going to talk about the essentials of rock rhythm guitar and power chords. Um, uh, first of all, talking about sound settings or just uh, the requirements which is needed. Um, of course, there's, this, there's the distortion and um, you can select different types of distortion, as you can hear. Uh, you can have medium gain settings, higher gain setting, or high gain settings. Uh, it's actually your personal taste, but actually um, the main thing is the more distortion or the more gain you have in your distortion, the more precise you have to be with your attacking hand. Yeah. Um, the good news about rock rhythm guitar is um, the chords are very easy, if you know, um, I'm going to show the chords which are used, uh, but the main, the, the bad news is, uh, which many of you uh, really underestimate, is it's the picking hand which makes actually the difference and really uh, brings the essential thing out of rock rhythm guitar. <laughs> Yeah, so let's um, go step by step um, that you really get that stuff together. Now talking about power chords, um, first I need to explain what is a power chord. A power chord is a small chord which contains the root note and the fifth. That's why these chords sometimes are called, like in this case, G f G5, called G5 because it's only the root and the fifth. So. This note is the root, and this is the fifth. And then you just move these chords around. Here. It's very easy stuff, actually. If you can play that one chord, then you're actually already in the game. <laughs> Yo! I remember my first really uh, band sessions. I, I played like I was playing guitar like one month, and I only could play that one chord and just going crazy with that stuff. And now, when you want to move this chord around, um, let's take E5. Now, the, the only difference is uh, when you when you play with open string, like in E5, then you grab it like this. Now let's take the example of in E because there's uh, there's some some tricks to know um, with these bots here on the fretboard. So now moving these chords E5, then you can play first spot, second spot. Um, that's it. <laughs> also, when you move the chord down with the root on the A string, still a power chord. And these chords fit pretty well. Yeah, but you can, I mean, you can play any kind of stuff which really fits, I mean, in modern rock guitar. It's not really so much dependent on the, on the, on the classic progressions. So, this is the power chord. Now, very essential uh, when you play power chords is the, the proper damping. So, as an example, I mean, this, let's go back to the, to the example in G. Now you can see with the picking hand, when I switch between the chords, I make this damping movement here with this side of the hand. Otherwise, if you don't do this, um, it might uh, create some noise, or you really have to be very precise. This is also cool. This is one method to really do this. The other method to change the chord is... This one here with the, with the dead notes in between. What are dead notes? Attack it, then damp it. You just release the chord, then damp, and then... And then you make these dead notes, but you're not pressing, and while you're doing the dead notes, you move. Yo, 
This is basically how this works. <coughs> now there are different types of power chords. This is the main power chord, just with the root below and the fifth. But you also can play double up the root, actually. And then you make a bar here, and then you cover this. This sounds more full. Yeah. Or you don't play this root, then you play only this. But you use those ones when you stay in position, like you make a See, you really do this here, and you make little bars here, and then you move the power cones like around here. And then, last but not least, we have the big, the very big power chords. These with the root note on the A string. Like, let's take this one here. Then we double up here with the root as well, with the bottom, and double up below. So we go over four. That gives you that drop, the, that drop sound which you really hear in today's bands uh, very often. Sounds like you have a seven string guitar or dropped thing. And that's actually how the main thing works. So, and that's the way, then you can jump around and take a, a beat now. Yeah. Now there comes another technique, which is very common in like in uh, 80s rock, uh, damping technique. <coughs> you still use the power chords, but now you have a proper damping technique here. <coughs> you lay your hand down here and then you just... If you're here, no sound. If you're too far away, no damping. So you find the correct position. That's very cool. If you want to make a mixture between damping and release. So now I mix it up and then I just pull up the hand like this. This is how the whole thing works. Pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> so let's try with the drum. and so on. Then comes this technique, <coughs> you mix up, you make like... Now you mix up the full chord and the damping technique. Um, then you, you make the damped note on the bass note, then you release it, then you attack the, D, the A and the D string, which is covered by the, the medium power chord. Then you Put up the hand and release the dam. Pretty easy. That works mostly with open with open chords. Like let's go back to E. That one you hear very often in rock music. something like this. In this case I make E5, D5, C5 with the open E string. Very common technique, very cool actually. Yo. So these are the basic techniques which work with the hand and the chords. And as you see, the, the chord is still the, st still the same. And then when you mix up the whole thing, then we are 
mostly ready to go. You can also, which you hear like in um, speed metal or uh, I don't know what kind of metal, is when you double up me. <coughs> you play 16 notes here with the damp note, just on one string, and something like this. In this case, you just damp it and try to figure out four notes per beat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and put an exact on one. And be in timing with the beat. And last but not least, single note lines in between. Something like... Something like this. Now we're in E. And then you just add some kind of single note lines. Then end it up somehow with the harmonic. And then you play uh, the minor pentatonics of the key which you're playing in. In this case, it's in E. And our example in G will be like. In this case, you play the G minor pentatonics, which will be this here. Or in E, is a very common position in this one here. And that's, <coughs> that's basically what happens. And that's, to tell the truth, is all which is needed in rock rhythm guitar. Um, it really works out, and you, I mean, you can play different tempos, of course. Now this was a very slow, like 105, and then you mix up these different techniques, and that's how it works. So I'm going to give an example now, um, explain once again what I did. I'm going doing it in E now because there I can combine everything very good. So let's start. Start with normal power chord with damping in between. Now connect with dead notes. Now damped, uh, damped low string. Now combination. Double time. And now single note line. Yo, this was now um, the really the essentials of a rock rhythm guitar. If you really break it down to these basic techniques which I explained to you now, then you have it. It doesn't really happen really more. I mean, some kinds a little bit different, but in the basic, these are these techniques. And as I said, picking technique, which probably looks very easy when I do it, but um, takes some time to really have the feeling of the pick that you really attack the strings which are needed. and you and you make the damping very properly but once you have that then you're ready to go yo enjoy it and rock on yeah.